Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and Douglas is in the house. You Dirty Douglas. Dirty Douglas. You gonna say welcome back? Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. So what we're gonna do on this on this uh, video here is we're gonna try to put the grill in it and sheathe one side of it. Uh, what's happening is, in my brain, Sometimes it isn't right, but sometimes um, I just do what I want to do, and that's all that matters. <laughs> but we're making the grill of the Bugatti. Um, we're going to try to duplicate, not say duplicate, but make the, the grill that we have in the Bugatti and bring it over to uh, the Doodlebug. And the reason being is um, I'm sort of thinking that this would be the tow truck for the $40 million Bugatti. So they, al they also had a one-off hauler to haul the Bugatti. Um, just in my brain, just to have fun, because you know what I say, um, it's my dream and I'll make it as big as I want. And that's what everybody should do, is uh, if you have a dream or a thought or whatever like that, just go with what, what you're going for and uh, you never know, it might come true. Um, I have a piece of flat stock there. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna bend that flat stock, we'll get it in there, we'll run a stud up either side of it, and then we'll try, we'll sheathe one side of it because we want to play with the other side. We want to get in and out of it. It really is becoming quite something. I think that if you banged into something, um, you might hurt them. But it is really becoming quite a machine where it's all tied together and that sort of stuff. Uh, it's really looking good. It's coming along quite quickly because I've got some good help. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's try this. I got a piece of flat stock here and put that away. A piece of flat stock. I do not know if it's the right length to make the grill, but if it's not, I'll, I'll grab another piece. That's basically what I'll do is I'll grab another piece. So I've been looking around for something to bend it on. I looked at the tire first and then I seen the wheels. I think the wheels will give me the tighter bend at the top um, from what I what I'm thinking. I don't think I want that big, big round grill. I'm not sure yet, to be honest with you. Gonna Let's just, out. I'm going to actually mark the center first. Take measure Doug around your pocket, buddy. I got one marker for you. Nope. How long is that? 52. 52, so half would be 25, 26. Mark me 26, will you? So I know where center is. That's called teamwork. I got the marker, he's got the, the tape measure. I've got one somewhere too, so I'm going to right. well, just do this. Ah. Yeah, you want to hold that there, Doug, at the top? Wow. Please? I love your metal bender. It's awesome, eh? Just awesome. hold it up a little bit. Just bring it halfway. Let's do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm not sure if the top one seems like it's going backward. Does it seem like it's leaning out? That's what we're going to do. We're going to nail that sucker in there like that. Um, let's get, can you give me a tape measure, Doug, dear? Just measure how far apart that is. Okay, we'll say 21 will be, will be our deal. Sweet. Let's measure across here. For that one, for that one. Gas pedal's in the way a little bit, or the brake pedal. Let's pull this down and move this. What do we have? No, just straight to this, right to the, you're on the inside. So if I went in here where you're at, you're doing, you're doing that one right there. 51. So fifth half, center 51. 25 and a half. Pretty close. Pretty close. All right, 25 and a half. So I'm gonna go over right here. I'm gonna say that's center. Just gonna say it. Just gonna do it. Can I bring it over just a little bit more? I think. I'll go there. 
All right, that's center. We want to do 21 from center. So that would be 10 and a half. 10 and a half. There's, that's on the center. You mark your end. Hold that tape there with your, so it's not going anywhere. We want 21, didn't we? Jolene's helping us saying, agreeing that we're, we're doing it right. Thanks, baby. Yeah, she is the boss. She is the boss. Glad you realized that, Doug. Boss girl, baby, Jolene. Okay, now if I put that on top of there. Now I'm gonna have to come in a little bit to get that to touch. So we'll just come in a little bit on each side and then we'll know. Inside of these. All right, I'm gonna turn on the welder. So we're just, we're just pretending that this is the hauler for the Bugatti. Uh, there's no other reason to build this Montrophilus other than them hauling the Bugatti around, you know. I'm not sure. We, ha we, have, we have an airplane, but uh, it wouldn't fit underneath the airplane. And the airplane is not nowhere near being completed or flyable. Um, helmet. I want to thank everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. We really do. It's not going to reach the top, Doug. See how it's not reaching the top? So we're going to come in a little bit on each one until it reaches a second. Let's do, come into this line. I want to do this on this one. Same distance on that one. You know, somewhere the same. Looks the same, doesn't it? It does to me. Good. Try that. See if you can get on that one. Close, buddy. Still not getting. See this bad boy? Oh, oh see nice what I, just, <laughs> I see what I just did. I didn't do that any good. I didn't do that any good. I didn't. didn't. I did not. Oh. Yeah. Poop. Uh. Break my drawing big desk. I did. Oh. Oh. How do you put that on there? I guess I shouldn't have left it on the floor. I did I keep that? Damn it. So we're running here for a second. Just trying to fix what I did. What did I mean? Oh, not really the piece of metal I'm looking for, but. What I'm doing is I'm holding the dolly on this side. I got this bend right here. It's not the same shape, so I'm not gonna get it right on the bend. So I'm gonna hold the dolly on this side of the bend, and I'm gonna hit it there. The dolly's just to hold the metal so I can hit it. Bad. Let's go get right. No more using your knees to bend metal. No, it works. It's just not what for. If we put it up in the center, oh, that works. That works. That's better. Is that better? That's better. -ish. It works right on the line now. Perfect. All right. Hold that, Douglas, please. I'm gonna put on, I was gonna put on my gloves. I don't know why it wasn't working when you were holding it there, but it didn't seem to work, did it? No, it's just me, don't worry. Kinda of threw me off for a second. Got my gloves. As you can see, we weren't quite ready. Uh, we do these videos on the fly, so you can see how long it takes, basically. I'm thinking that that's the best way to do it. It's the best way to do it. Let's bring it down, Doug. You're gonna get in there, are you, brother? Look at it! All right, I want, to, I want to put, I want to put this one on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it out flush. Let's do this one. I want to bring it out flush to this right here. 
I'm going to tack this on. Just tack it. Yeah, it looks good. I don't know. Just a second now. Hold on to that bad boy. I haven't got a... <clears throat> I don't think that really took held that well, to be honest with you. It didn't hold at all. That booger did. We're going to our original. We want it flush out. Now we want to bring this out flush. I want to try to straighten that out. Is it flush with that metal inside, yes, Doug? It is. I'm just taking the center of this. We get this center here. We've marked the center. I'm just kind of centered up with that. Probably look the best. I know what's wrong. I got no glasses on. Alrighty, I'm gonna stand back and just take a look at it. Um, this this piece down here, I'm thinking that this 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 is not matching up. This piece here and that set that piece down there is not matching up. That really does not bother me. And the reason being is this is the floor being studded off of that piece down there. That could be off just a little tiny bit because nothing was really brought together. It doesn't matter. That's all 16s down there when I put the floor in. Basically, I want the grill because you're not going to see the studs in the floor, but I want the grill the center of the window with that piece. So basically with this being here, I'm feeling like that's the center. It looks good to me. What do you think, Doug? It's pretty good, yeah. Not bad? For bending it over your knee, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna weld that on. Uh, we're gonna go with it, and the reason being is why not? Uh, so this is the opening for the doodle bug, so we'll make a grill inside that. That was much better welding that way with some eyes that I can see. Grind that down a little bit on that side, kind of, kind of caterpillary, but it is what it is. Hey, Douglas. Awesome. He's he's working. Um, we want. I want. I want to stand a stud up here uh, for for the metal that we bring around. We're going to wrap a piece of metal around this side. We're going to bring the metal to this side of the grill. Uh, we'll leave this side open, but we'll basically get a, a good bird's eye view of what it's going to look like with a grill. In it. We'll do this side. So you need a piece. Uh, Twenty one and a half. Twenty one and a half. Go for it. And you might as well make another one for this side. I don't know if it's 21 and a half or not, but you might as well make two. I might and as well measure it too. You might as well make two, please and thank you. Happy. Yeah, awesome. I don't know if Bugatti built a hauler or not. I'm not sure. Not sure.
I can get in there and weld that. I guess I can weld along the back side would be nice. Gonna make it harder getting in and out it is. And the reason I'm gonna come in here and weld this is because I wanna tap it with a hammer on the outside. It looks like it's got a little bend there. I wanna tap it with a hammer. And if it's secure, It's like Jolene said, this can be the air conditioning. Like you could have it like a door in front of that, have that open. Now I see like a little bend right here, like a little sharp bend right there it looks like to me. So I'm just gonna... I got the flapper wheel hooked up so I can just take a little bit off of the flapper wheel instead of trying to cut it again. We'll just do that here in a second. We'll use one of these, I guess, or a level to get it straight up and down. Probably the level, probably the easiest. I'm not sure the easiest or not, but. See that little level we had with that long? See that anywhere, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. I did see this. Whereas I think it's on the back of this thing. It's on the back of this thing? Yeah, it's on the other side. We've seen the side. That's just me guessing, too. Okay. Well, I can't see it, so. We'll use that stick. Take this cord from here. Ready? No worries. No worries. Just gonna take the cord. Gonna flap reel that down a little bit. Do you know where that little level is, or that'd be great? So we I will we'll find plumb it. Plumb that up. Find You'll it. find it. I will He'll find, find it. it. Just a little bit. That one did? No. Oh, see how it doesn't tell you if it's plumb or not? Perfect. Perfect. Let's get this one in here. See if this one fits. There it is, that's the bad boy. That's the bad boy, Douglas. You slide that on the side of that bad boy. Now it'll tell me if it's ready to rock and roll, excuse me. 
What do you think? Is it look ready to rock and roll? It's hot. Not caught. Beautiful. You are, Jolene, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna I'll tack this at the bottom. I'm just gonna slide it over to the weld. Now there's no reason to try to buff that off. I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna do this. Got a good fit on that. Both ends. We're going to have to flap and wheel them off the front so there's no weld there because we don't want nothing protruding on our, on our panel. I didn't leave myself no room to weld that, but I can weld on the back side. That's good. Kind of not like the looks of that weld. There, burner on that time, baby. How's that look, Doug? Gives her a face. I mean, looks pretty good from here. Gives her a face. Down he the road, says. Doing sixty, it'll look awesome. Cool. So we're just trying to flush it out, and then uh, we'll tack this one on. Fits good. I usually don't do that. Burn it right on without tacking the top. But Guess I got it. Piece of Bristol board dug in the other room. In the other part over here. It's on. It's on the. Gotcha. There's a piece of Bristol board over there. It's on top of the paint guns, I think. Or. Put a little spot on there so when I grind it off, it looks nice. One will do. One? One will do, yep. Yeah. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. 
So when we cut the metal, uh, we're going to cut the metal to fit the grill. So in order to do that, we are shy. So let's do, let's do it from, and that's hot too, so be careful. I'm going to grind this off first just so I can get that up in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern of this shape um, and then we'll lay this piece of paper on the metal that we cut. So that way there when we cut the metal, it'll fit the grill and then we'll, you'll see, we'll do, we'll do it right in front of your eyes to show you exactly what I mean. So I'm just going to buff the front of this weld off because we do not want anything protruding out to hold our panel. Doug, it looks like he's ready for, for um, grade three. <laughs> Crafts, crafting. All right, we'll put it on the back side. Let's hold it at the top. Let's bring it in here. Bring it in so I can get it all. Now, you're going to hold this up here with this. You want just a second? Make sure this is nice with the top so it fits along the top here. Hold your finger like so. Um, yep. Uh, da, da, da. You got a hold of it? Get your, I see. I'll get my marker. You got a marker? Whew, that's hot. That's hot. You want, you want to trace that? Trace the grill? Try to yeah, hold your marker down to the... Just a second now. Yeah, yeah do it again. Good. We'll go with the, yeah. with the straight one. All right, got that. That's good. For scissors. So we have to remember this will go at the top of the metal, right? This edge because it's short at the bottom, and we'll have to fake the rest. Fake it. You know what I'm trying to say? So we've yet to, you know, uh, the more we do to this uh, doodle bug, uh, the fancier, or not say the fancier, the better it will look. See where we got the grill in the nose of it. Uh, we got the headlights yet to put on it. Um, there's a few things that have to be done to it uh, to make it look what we want it to look like. But uh, the more we do to it, the better it seems to look every time we put a panel on it or put a piece on it. Let's lay this piece of metal down. This is the piece of metal that we, um, that I messed up yesterday or the day before putting the back sheet on. We want the straight edge and the straight edge is this side. We cut that side over there so we're going to get one strip out of it. Uh, we're not going to waste anything and the reason being is that metal is uh, too much money to be start wasting anything. We're going to take a measurement of, I'll take both of it if you don't mind. My little toolbox, <laughs> toolbox Dougie. So we're 23 and a half from top to bottom. We're 23 and, no, what did I say that was? 23 and a half. What am I saying here? here? 
23 and a 5 eighths. We're off just a little bit. So 23 and a half is the cut. 23 and a half. Measure that again to make sure. I don't want to cut that again. Measure it. 23 and a half. I don't want to walk on that, really. 23 and a half. 23 and a half. 23 and a half. We've got a fairly new zip cut there. I don't like that roller that much, it's kind of. I have a better one here somewhere. That harder one, you know what I mean? The thicker one. What's that square? Right there. Right there, man. Don't really want to walk on the metal. Don't know why. Just don't. We'll go there. Cool. Thanks, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Well, oh, man. Oh, there's my finger. Oh, there's my thumb. <laughs> Tweedledow and Tweedledum. We have a couple people, well, let's say, say we have a couple people talking as, talk as if you're not here, Doug. I'm not Doug, here. Doug helps me out sometimes. And uh, I have another friend that helps you out sometimes. His name's Nathan on the mechanical part. Um, Doug and Nathan live about, what, two minutes away from each other? Yeah. Uh... And, and they both live on the Canning Mountain. Um, they're just like me. Never left. I've known you for how many years? How old are you? I'm 48. Well, well, we wouldn't have known each other when we were, obviously, whatever. But we've, we've lived in the same area all of our lives. Pretty much. Pretty much. I used to work with... Uh, Doug's father, Dennis, and um, I've had a lot of good times with Dennis. There's a, a story I'm going to tell you about your father, Doug. It's not more about your father, it's more about what I did. I, I used to work at a, <laughs> I used to work at a grain mill and uh, Doug's father would pick me up. I was not finished school the age of 16, just started a job at the grain mill. Uh, the grain mill was actually a really good place to work because the money was good for my education, which I had none. <laughs> uh, I had to sweep floors and pile bags and run the grinders and, and uh, that sort of stuff. Anyways, Doug's father would pick me up in the morning and we'd get up, he'd pick me up early because Dennis would like to get off early. We would go to the mill and sweep the upside the mill sweep all the grain and the dust and stuff down. And the reason being is it had a dust explosion one year and it almost killed Mike Kern yeah. that time, burnt, like it burnt 90% of them. And uh, I knew him also. But uh, we had, um, he would get, get up early, pick me up, we'd go to the mill and we'd sweep the mill down from top to bottom. I think the mill was probably 80 feet in the air, yeah, 60 feet in the air. And uh, every once in a while they would ask us to clean a bin and the bin was the height of the mill and uh, I'll finish this story up we had a crane that was on top it had three legs it had a little winder thing like as if you were winding your boat in it had like a clicker on it click 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 if you wind it up and you let somebody down in there and then you chip all the grain off the side of the tank that was in the thing and being a young person I thought it would be funny Dennis was in the hole that was his father Denny was in the hole I was controlling the, the winder thing and I thought it would be funny to let him free fall for a second or two. And when I let go of the handle, <laughs> I could not stop it. And he went, all the way down. I could hear him falling in the hallway. And there's a hole, this black hole, this grain hole. And um, I'm so glad that he wasn't up above. He probably would have killed me. <laughs> and I let him free fall there for a while in a black hole. I'm hooked up to a harness and a, and a wire. And uh, that's my story. So. I should be careful working with you. <laughs> well, I just, I just didn't realize, like once I let it go for a second, I couldn't grab the handle, it went Pew! The handle yeah. took off and it would have ripped my hand off. And um, then he had a free fall. Yeah. <laughs> 
just hold up on that guys on this side. Just hold up like that just a little bit so I can walk along and cut this. Yeah. Yeah. If it can get caught, it will. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just oh, saying. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah. Pick that up a little bit. Pick it up a little bit, please. One of the harder things to do is cut a full sheet of metal in half. Flip it. We'll turn it up the other way, Doug, and I'll take off the sharpies. You got, watch your hands. Watch your hands. That's probably sharp. And, and hot. All good, man. Where's your gloves at, brother? Oh, I left them at home. You got glasses on. Cord. Yeah. Quite something else, eh? Yeah. Cord is tools. Layer down. This is from the top. Now. Why? Well, I got. Oh, we couldn't get in there. And you're short of the inch or two there, right? Am I short? Did I get your camp back up on your hole and see what's going on? Okay, we are. Just hold you that in there. Add, just measure how much you need to add. Why did I do that? Douglas? Because I thought you wanted to. Yeah, I didn't want to. Let's, let's do it again. Go and get your marker, old brother. Hold your metal at the top, if you will, please. I'm going to do this. You want to trace that again, please? Can you get it right up in that? Just go easy. No. All right, it's a little better. What's we heard? No. It looks like it's ang this is this is angled. You mean? We'll be fine. I'm thinking we'll be fine. We just need them scissors again. Just doing it again, just to make sure. Just see, this is the the length of. Or I'm thinking that's the square stock right there, obviously. Metal on them scissors is crazy. Metal scissors. 
and it's not absolutely perfect, it'll be just like me. A little off? Yeah, a little <laughs> off, Doug. Just a little off, buddy. We all are some days, man. Oh. I got that covered. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna put this flush to the top. I'm hoping that that goes up. I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit, Doug. Right there. I guess I'm going with. Come on. Can't even follow a line. Crafts with Chad. Here. I remember when we were going to Sunday school, we made rockets. That was the funnest time. Making a rocket. So I think that that's going to work. I'm going to take a look at that for a second. We've got that much come up here. Actually, we want to come up to here, but here somewhere. Let's try it. We've got lots of length, I think. What happens is we got lots of length, so we'll, we'll get it fitting nice here. We'll wrap it around here, and then once we get it clamped, we get some clamp, we'll get some clamp set up for this, this mm -hmm. distance right here. We'll clamp it on, then we got a mark. We can mark right there, mark it down there, and then we'll know where to cut it off. I'm hoping, anyways. I'm gonna cut that shape. And if I have to add a piece in the center, I will. Nothing works. Nothing worse than cords around metal. Nothing works. I need another zip cut. Got some grinding done on the on the on the doodle bug. Got some grinding done on the back. Uh, the two do two stripes there. We got more to do. It's all welded. So this is welded all continuously all up through the back got that all done it had some gaps in some places and basically what happens is, is i weld make sure i fill the gap to make it all one i would never want weld one side than the other side just fill the gap and weld it all up together yeah it's looking good looking good What am I thinking? I'm thinking that, that I'm not going to get all the way over on that because I marked it to here. You want to go to the middle of that? I want to go to the middle of there. I put a little piece of metal in there. Give an extra push. Should I pull, pull that back? I could pull that back a little bit. Put your line back, see? Got more like more metal in the yes. I'm thinking that's what I might do. What I'm thinking is we marked that. Um, this would end right where we marked it. We marked it Gee, so it was good. here. So you want to go an inch further. We marked it so it, he took the mark, it was in there, but we want to go an inch further. So we're just gonna pull this back a little bit. Pull this back a little bit. Do, 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 do. Put that far, I suppose. Let's do it again. Oh, does that look right? No. We'll go up there like that or something. See what happens. Pretty craft. And if there's a gap, that's where the old coat hanger would get involved.
I'm just gonna knock it off the sharp stuff first, guys. Watch yourself. We are using 18 gauge. Use 18 gauge for basically everything. Pull it up, Doug, so it fit like to the top. All right, then we're gonna have to put this on. Once you bend down there, Doug, get on your, get down. Uh, we'll make this up here. Let's get it up there. Halfway? No, all the way. All the way. All the way. Can we? Yeah. yeah that pick tells you down a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's, I'm going to put this on. Up just a bit. Just a bit. Up just a bit if you can. No, it doesn't doesn't jive. Doesn't wanna. There does it. Now. We're gonna take a little bit out of that. And I don't see we'll see what we got going on here. We're down there a little bit. And we have to swing that up. Can we swing that up somehow, Doug? Um, Let's take. It's just gonna push down. Here. No, it's gonna, no, it's gonna. That's fine. It's gonna, gonna pull it. You want to hold that for a sec? Push up. Pull it up. Pull it up. There we go. Remember that was the pot, the spot that was low in that. We have a a window treatment that we're going to have to do. So everything I'm doing here, um, it might need. Well, everything I'm doing here right now, um, that fits there good. And that's out there. So I just wanted to come over some. So I'm going to take a marker. Pocket. Pa, pa, pa. Ah, cool, thank you. Mm. So we're down here a little bit. I want to come ahead a little bit. The marker's about the same distance away there, so I'm just going to take and scribe it to the grill. I'm going to cut that and see if we can get it over a little tighter. We can shave this off with the grinder. We got lots at the bottom. It's good. We just want to get it fighting tighter there. Are right, we ready, Douglas? Let's pull this down. Take this one. Just a second, just a second. Okay, you got to hold it. Just going to try to make this fit a little bit better. Hoping that what I did is right. That's what I have to do today.
and get this thing. It's gotta come out. Get yours going good. That good for you? Yep. Looks good. Okay, looks good. Get tight there. We gotta come. I gotta zip a little bit out of this. Just, just. Oh. I'm gonna take the zip cut right here if I can. We need to come this way. Let's push, take them, take them off. Leave your last one on so you don't have to hold it for a second. We're just gonna push this all ahead if we can. So you're gonna take and loosen, loosen that off. Take that off. Keep your metal where it's at. I just wanna, can you pick it up? Pick the metal up? All right, now I'm gonna clamp this on. Hopefully I can clamp it on top and bottom. That's what I'm hoping. Open. All right. Try that, clamp it. Just a second. Actually, can you hold it right there like that? Just... I want to, on the... you can take your clamp off we Doug, please. Yep. Can you pry the metal up just a little tiny bit? Just a little bit, or can you get it up? Every time it comes out, it pulls it out here. Hey, I'm gonna do this then, okay. It's all right. Got it. Okay, that fits really good along there. Fits good along there. Fits really tight right there. Now we got a little bit of place going on right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm not gonna worry about it. And the reason being I'm not gonna worry about it. We have this, this flat stock that I made this out of is gonna go around the windows so I can cut that window opening. If you look at the picture, I probably should have looked at the picture a lot more. As I'm building the truck I'm seeing differences, but I was changing things. I was going to change things and I didn't change things, but I really didn't have the picture in front of my face full time as I was building it. But I know from the picture, it's wider here and it has round corners at the window. So we, uh, we also need something for the glass uh, to apply to. So there will be, uh, I'm going to take some, window frames. Yeah, I'm going to be building window. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. I'm going to be building window frames around here so I can apply the glass. And this will be wider and we'll have a nice round corner in each one of them. The windows will get a little bit smaller, which is fine. Give it a little better look. Is that actual glass or like plexi? Uh, we'll probably use plexi, probably. Sram wrap? And then sram wrap it and do whatever we yeah. do with it. Everything's fit, so that's fine. Happy. I'm happy. I'm going to cut this here. Just because it's... Just we want the same distance out. I should have ground that off. I'm gonna take, we're gonna take this off one more time. I wanna grind that metal in there. Uh, just the reason being I wanna grind that metal in there because when I put that metal in there, my metal is not pushed all the way back and it doesn't give me the same distance on the grill opening. So we're gonna pull it off one more time. I'll just, I'm gonna do this first. We've got a mark right here. We can tell how long it wants to be. Can tell how long it wants to be from right here. We got this mark. And I'm gonna come down here. And I'm gonna mark that one. And then we'll we'll eye it up. We'll draw our straight line down. And we'll go for it. So 
Let's take it off one more time and then we're going to tack it on. There might be some access on the bottom, which there's going to be on that side, but that's okay. Oh, I want to bend that. Set that there. I'm going to grind this off. I want to get that back as far as again because I want that metal to go around the same distance around the grill the whole way is what I want. This is what I'd like. We've got a line, have we, Douglas? Yes, sir. All right, you see this? You just mashed it up with the line up there on the back side. Looks pretty good, Douglas. We've got a fairly good line there. I'm going to cut the line. life struggle right there. Stingy court. Hmm, struggles. Clean that off a little bit, eh, man? Put a brand new panel on, man. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, that's not fitting on there nice as I got you pass that grinder, Doug, please. I got some metal there I got laying over because I was cutting it on top of that grill. I'll get this fitting up here and then we'll we'll do the deal down your end. Lift it up, Tom Duck. Yep. Just a sec. Hmm. How you feeling? Ducks are good so far? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> What's it look like, Doug? Yeah. Just beautiful? Just beautiful. Awesome. Help. Well, it can only go so far, remember? I know, right? That's better than what we were getting. Man, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. huh? I'll tell you. It's 
Okay. Yeah, it's fucked. Right there. A pair of vice grips on the bottom. Got a pair right over here, Douglas. That's nice, eh? Yeah, pretty good. Almost like we made it fit. Alrighty. I'm gonna tack it on so we can get the true effect and pull all the grips off. Looks like it's tight, it's tight at the bottom, fitting really nice. I'm gonna turn this on. We'll just tack it on for now. And the reason we'll tack it on, and the reason is, if I have to do anything or change anything or don't like anything and I want to pull it back off, it's not a great big job. That's why I'm going to tack it on. There. You can see I'm past there in the center. It just means that the other one, when I bring the other sheet over, I'm just going to bring it to that piece and we'll, we'll uh, butt weld it together and then we'll grind it off. It does not matter if it's past because it just needs metal there, that's all. But let's, let's tack this bad boy on. Just so it's tight and right. Nice. Make sure it's tight, that's all. That's nice and tight there. Nice. Now, here Doug, I'm gonna pass this. Nope, it's gonna one. Bring this thing right around. We're hooked up to 110. Bring it right around. my third arm. Push down along the side. What we'll do here, we'll make sure, if that can be pushed in or out, so we'll make sure that when we weld that on there, that we've got the same distance all the way down along. Because I see bad, chad, flexible chrome going on there. Ooh, Ooh. Fancy. What? Fancy. Jolene's the fancy one, I'm just here. Weld that together. Like a nice plug weld, sort of. I guess I'm thinking.
That should pretty well have. That's fine, Doug. I think that's the bottom of the... Yeah, you can put them on, that's for sure. Alrighty, there you go. We got the... That's tight, you know. Looks tight at the bottom all the way around, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look pretty good. You can tell that it's tight. I'm going to get in the inside, go around there with the welder, then we'll pull them bottom ones off because they're tight and right. Um, I'm going to go in through, this, through the grill. You want to level this out first? Do I want to what? Put a couple clamps in here. No, that's all right. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to do the bottom along here because it's tight and right. Or it looks tight. tight. I know. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks good and tight. Okay. So I'm just going to... Lots of steam sealing needs to be done in this truck. Lots of steam sealing. Now, you mean fiberglass? What's that? You mean fiberglass? Seam sealer. Seam sealer. Well, yeah, I would put seam sealer in all these seams where the spot welded like that. Mm -hmm. Fill that full. My seams be tight going in, watch yourself. up a little bit probably. I'm going to leave it like that. Come back out through the grill. I'll step back and take a look at it. So we sort of have the same looking opening Joanne's car has does not have to be identical all it has to do is look alike and um, there is the front sheet of the Bugatti hauler I'm, I'm gonna start calling it the Bugatti hauler that way there um, Doodlebug reminds me of the Model A that was turned into a tractor with the big you know tractor wheels in the back to win the woods and and you know gather some wood or whatever stuff like that but we're going to call this the Bugatti hauler that's basically what I'm doing with it but there's the front piece sheet with the grill put in it uh, what can I say this is just a, a dream of mine to make this and it's like I tell all the kids if you do not have a dream it cannot come true and it, that goes to if you're 10 years old if you're 96 years old if you do not have a dream it cannot come true so make sure that you dream and it's free and this is my dream and um, I'm making it come true like subscribe come back comment share see you tomorrow